Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey everybody, we continue the review of the winter outlook. This was the forecast of at least one severe weather outbreak around the area, and we actually had really a three of them. January 2 and 3, some of you might remember, we had a tornado up around um, Champaign. We had several tornadoes just west of our area. And of course, it was really, really warm. That was after the very cold weather week before. Feb 16, we had some severe weather. And on Feb 22, uh, several warnings in the area, including three more tornadoes in our viewing area. So we did have three, really, um, severe weather episodes during the winter. There's my track record. We'll continue the review again tomorrow of the winter and the winter outlook. Hey, we talked about the uh, tornado drill today. I had the privilege of going to Van Buren Elementary School, just up the road from where I live over there in northern Clay County, talking to the kindergarten classes. Here's one. I had both of them at the same time. Here's the first group, and here comes the second group. And we talked about storms and safety tips and where to go, what to do. And I reminded them that, you know, severe weather season is just around the corner. But a great group of kindergartners over there at Van Buren Elementary Day had a great time visiting with them. And the weather was chilly as I headed out there. 39, the high yesterday was 36, so this cold... Wintry weather is going to hold on, although tomorrow we're going to warm back up, but you're probably not going to like what happens by the weekend. I'll show you that in a second. No precipitation today, 2.54. That's where we are so far for the month of March. Here's what it looks like now. At the river stage in Terre Haute, it's down below flood stage for a change. 14.2 still on the way down. The rain that we get Thursday, Thursday night, I don't think it's going to be enough to really impact the river too much, though. Cold tonight, warmer tomorrow. Thunderstorm on Thursday, possible, at least some rain. And then cold to end the weekend. Fortunately, the cold shot will come back Friday afternoon and into the upcoming weekend. At the airport in Terre Haute right now, we're at 41. A little bit of a breeze, though, so there's a bit of a wind chill. Feels like 36 degrees. Temperatures right now close to 40. Got some mid to upper 30s in the north, low 40 south. So we're right around that 40 degree mark. Storms on each corner of the country. One. In the west and southwest, you'll hear about this on the national news coming up. Heavy rain, snow in the higher elevations. The other storm is on the other corner of the country, way up here. This is producing wind and snow. Big time storm up there, a winter storm. We call it a nor'easter. You can see all the snow. It's kind of eventually going to move away, but still plaguing the northeast. You can see the one behind me there on the west coast. In between, we're caught with some cold weather, but at least calm weather. Clear skies tonight. That will allow the temperatures to drop. Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, not anything showing up. Don't expect anything tonight or during the day tomorrow. And southerly winds tomorrow with some sunshine will actually warm us back to normal, if not a little bit above normal for a change. Then a storm on the west coast. The very first impacts of that will be felt here by Thursday afternoon. 2, 3 o'clock, we start to see some rain moving into the area. Can't rule out a thunderstorm, but I think the threat of severe weather is going to stay mostly south of here. This is rainfall through late in the day Thursday, and there will be a little bit more added to this, but I don't think this is going to be a huge rain event for the area. The wind will change around going over to the south as we get into tomorrow afternoon, and it will stay out of the south as we take you into the day Thursday, actually picking up some, but that's going to allow warmer air to move in. That system will clear by the time we hit Friday afternoon, and behind it, colder air starts moving in, and it looks like then we're headed for a calmer weekend as far as no precip, but definitely a colder weekend with temperatures running well below normal this weekend. Forecast for tonight, then it'll be cold night tonight with clear skies down to 23. Then during the day tomorrow, well, it gets better. Some sunshine and southerly winds will take that temperature to 52. And then after that, we're going to see some showers come in late on Thursday and early Friday, turning colder Friday with temperatures falling in the afternoon. Look at the weekend. Highs in the 30s, but it does get warmer again by early next week. Grant.